Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Polly channel. This video I want to share about guide how to make your Black Desert character photo become realistic version. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, actually, since this early April 2023, I just try my experiment to make my Black Desert character to become realistic. And after that, I just post continuously my result after testing all this experiment for any Black Desert character to become more realistic. And if you want to see more about my result for this experiment, you can check my compilation video for my artificial intelligence result after make my Black Desert character to become realistic on this video. And in this video, I want to share guide how to make your Black Desert character to become more realistic so you can do it yourself using your character and actually I using program called Stable Diffusion that you also can install it on your computer. But actually, this Stable Diffusion software, you also can try it online without need to install it on your PC. But for sure, if you install it on your PC, there are more options that you can explore and you can freely use it because you're using your resource on your own computer. Okay, before I share how to install this software, there are some PC requirement to install this software and recommend that you have 12GB RAM and at least have 12GB this space on your data storage and also make sure you have decent graphic card that at least have 6GB VRAM on your GPU. And you also can check your GPU on your task manager. And if you go to performance tab and then go to CPU tab, you can see how much GPU memory that you have. And make sure you have 6GB for this maximum memory of your GPU. But if you have less than 6GB, your PC will struggle when running process on stable diffusion. Okay, after you make sure your PC is sufficient to running this stable diffusion, let's install this stable diffusion software by following step by step that I got you on this video. First, you need to download Git software. This is one of tools to install this stable diffusion that you can download this Git software using link that I share on this video description. And on this website, you just need to click here to download this Git software. And after your download finish, make sure you run this Git software and allow it and then just click next and leave all the setting as default. And after you success to install this Git software, you just need to click this finish button to close this window. And the second software that you need to install is Python 3.10.6. But take notice, make sure you install Python 3.10.6 because if you're using another version of this Python, you cannot install this table diffusion that I got you on this video. And once again, link to go to this Python 3.10.6 website, I already put it on this video description. And after you go to this website, you just need to scroll down and from this files menu, you just need to download Windows installer and because my PC running in 64-bit, so I will choose 64-bit version. And after you success to download this software, you just need to run it and this window will appear and make sure you check at Python 3.10 to path before you start to install this software. And after you check this section, you just need to click install now. And after you success to install this Python 3.10.6, you just need to close this window. Okay, after you install Git software and also Python 3.10.6 version, next we will start to install Stable Diffusion. And to install Stable Diffusion, you can go to this special website. This is directory online for this Stable Diffusion software. And to install this software, make sure you prepare special folder for Stable Diffusion. For my example, I just make special folder Stable Diffusion on my D drive. And then after you open this folder using your Windows Explorer on this folder address, you just need to type CMD to open command prompt from Windows. And because you open command prompt from Stable Diffusion folder that you already make special for installing this Stable Diffusion, this command prompt location will directly go to this folder. And after that, because you already install Git software, you just need to type git space clone and then press space. And make sure you go back to this website and copy address from this website and then go back to this command prompt and just right click on this command prompt to paste it. And then you will automatically paste this address on this command prompt and after that just add .git at the end of this address. 
and after you type this command correctly, you just need to press enter and this git software will automatically download any folder from stable diffusion online directory and after this process is finished, if you check back your stable diffusion folder, you can see special folder that just add stable dash diffusion dash web UI and if you open this folder, you will see there are so much data that you already download previously. And after that, if you already success to have all this data, make sure you check this web UI this user .bat. And in my computer, I can see this file extension because I already unhide extension from Windows Explorer. But if you cannot see any file extension, you can go to view menu and then go to option. And from this folder option, you just need to go to view tab and uncheck this hide extension for non-file tabs to make sure you can see any file extension from any file on your PC and then click OK and we go back to this table diffusion web UI after you see this web UI dash user dot bat make sure you right click this file and then go to edit and we will add some command to make sure you get the last version for this table diffusion and you can add additional line above this script by typing git space pull this is will make your stable diffusion keep update when the software update online and then after you add this line you just need to click file and then save and then you just need to close this window and after that after all finish you just need to double click this web ui dash user dot bat to start running this table diffusion and take notice if you first time to run this table diffusion this process will take time to download any resource for your stable diffusion and make sure you do this process when you connect to the internet and this process will take around 10 until 20 minutes depend on your PC specification and also speed for your internet connection and after all this process is finished you will see this result that you can check on this line running on local URL and you just need to double click this local URL and then right click it that you will automatically copy this line that you already block and then you just need to paste this URL to your internet browser and then press enter and then you will open this table diffusion locally after you success to install it and make sure you leave this command prompt active behind your browser and this is how it's look for this table diffusion after you success to install and running it and after you success to install this table diffusion next step is install some model that you will use as model to create your character to become more realistic and i recommend you to using this realistic vision version 2 as model to make your black desert character to become more realistic and you can find this model link on this video description and after you open this website using link that I share on this video description, you just need to click this download button to download this model that have size 2 GB. And after you success to download this model, you just need to move this model file that you already download previously to stable diffusion directory that you already installed previously. And from this directory, you just need to go to models folder and then go to stable diffusion folder. And then you just need to paste this realistic vision model on this folder. And after that, you just need to go back to Stable Diffusion Web UI. And then click this refresh button on this Stable Diffusion checkpoint. And then choose this realistic vision as its model. And after this model is finished to choose, your Stable Diffusion already ready to use. And for example, if you want to generate any picture, you can use text to image and then just type any prompt that you want to generate from this text and then just click generate it to generate it image from text. But if you want to make your black desert character to become more realistic, make sure you choose tap image to image and then select your black desert character screenshot and put it on this image to image menu. And after that, make sure you put this prompt and this is sample prompt that you can use to ask the software to make your black desert screenshot to become realistic. But take notice, this prompt you can add more detail depend on your black desert character screenshot. The more prompt that you use to describe your black desert character screenshot, the more detail the result. And also I just put negative prompt to make sure this table diffusion avoid any prompt that I mention on this negative prompt. And then after that you just need to scroll down and there are some another option that you need to adjust like sampling method mostly i use this dpm2 ekaras as its method but you also can choose any other method that you can experiment it yourself and then i will change the sampling step to become 55 
and take notice the more step that you use, the more longer the process for your picture, but the more step for sure more detailed result from this process. And then make sure you adjust size of your image. As you can see, for example, my sample picture is 1920 times 1080 pixel, and this is resolution full HD for 916 ratio monitor. And to faster this process, I will reduce its resolution to become 1280 for its width and 720 for its height. But take notice, I decide to reduce its resolution to faster the process when using this table diffusion. And later, I will use upscale feature by this artificial intelligence tool to enhance my result that I will show you later. And then for CFG scale, I just put 14 point for this parameter. The more GFC scale, the more close your result with your prom. But in my opinion, I usually using 14 point for the CFG scale. And then for denoising strength, I will use 0.3 point. And if you increase this denoising strength, that maximum until 1 point, the more denoising strength, the more your result will far away from your screenshot model. So I just use 0.3 for this denoising strength. And after all these parameters set, you just need to click this generated button. And this process will take time, depend on your PC specification. And if you check comment from for this table diffusion that running behind this browser, you will see this process. And after this process finish, you can see the result for this picture. But take notice this result is just simple result by using this simple prompt. And you can adjust this result by adding more detailed information on this positive prompt and negative prompt. And one another option that I want to share, so you can choose multiple result from this process. If you scroll down on this script menu, you just need to click it and choose this loopback option. And set your final denoising strength depend on your needs. And I usually using this final denoising strength is 0.4. Meanwhile, your first denoising strength is 0.3. So you will generate multiple result from denoising strength from 0.3 until 0.4. And then you can freely to choose how much result from this process by adjusting number on this loop. And mostly I will choose 6 result that will gradually increase from the noising strength 0.3 until 0.4. And after you set all the setting, you just need to generate it again. And this process will take longer time because this process will continuously looping 6 time to generate different denoising strength. And as you can see, if you check your task manager, when this process is running, your GPU resource will consume. So I recommend you to minimize your Black Desert client when running this table diffusion process. Or you also can close any other software to make sure this table diffusion can running smoothly. And when doing process for this table diffusion, mostly will use your GPU. But you also can install another software called Xformer to make your process between GPU and CPU synergy when running this table diffusion. And after wait a while, after this process is finished, you will get the six result with different denoising strength. And the more denoising strength from this result, the more far your result from your actual screenshot of your Black Desert character. And you can open folder for this result by click this folder icon that you will open this directory when this result is saved. And you can choose which result that you satisfied to use for next process. And for example, I satisfied with this result that have code number 2. And because previously I already set this result in HD version, so this is low resolution. Next, I will show you how to upscale result from this process to become higher resolution with sharp and detail result from this upscaling process. Okay, we go back to stable diffusion menu. From this result, you just need to send any result that you satisfied by click the result and send to extras. And after you click send to extras menu, you will go directly to extras tab. And from this menu, you will automatically got your result that you already chose previously on this menu. And then you just need to set this resize parameter as you want. For my example, I will double this size. And then just choose upscaler one to become one of this upscaler option. And for this example, I will use this win ER four times. And after that, because this picture have face character, make sure you use this GFP gun visibility set to become one. 
this GFP gun visibility will give more detailed result for your character face. But if your picture didn't have any face, you didn't need to use this GFP gun visibility and just keep this option to become zero. But because this picture have face, so I just activate this GFP gun visibility to become one. And after all set, you just need to click this generate button. And after you click this generate button, this process will starting. And you just need to wait until this result is done. And after that, you can click this folder icon to open the result. And as you can see, this is comparison between before and after upscaling this picture. And this is will give you sharp result from this upscaling process. And as you can see, this is resolution after upscaling this picture. Okay, that's all basic guide how to make your black desert character to become more realistic. And actually, combination to make your black desert character to become more realistic is endless. Depend on prompt, model, and any parameter that you use to get the result. And if you want to discuss anything about this artificial intelligence to make your black desert character to become more realistic, you can discuss with me and any member on this artificial intelligence discussion. And also you can share your result on this AI share channel. And I will update any info about this stable diffusion and artificial intelligence on this Discord channel. So feel free to join to my official Discord server using this invitation link. And everyone can join to my official Discord server by free. And another artificial intelligence guide that I already make is about to make your character talking that I already got you previously on this video. So you can check it for more detail if you interest about this content. And special thanks to all my membership for their direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership, and also my current member, Dubia Dut, Jimmy Snake, Doki, Angel, Ayrton, Killsteel, Wemi, Bebu, Iliana Nico, Detraki, Divine Blur, Grosak, Snot, Sorship TV, Cho Tomate, Lana Love Linda, S Gold member, and also for all my silver and bronze member, thank you so much for all your direct support. This is will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video depend on your support level. And be noticed at some level there are have some limit, so make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. Okay guys, that's all guide how to make your Black Desert character photo become realistic. Hope this video can be useful for you. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.